All right, so the Creighton EXB. Why is it different? How is it different? And why the heck is it called EXB? Stay tuned to find out. Hey everyone, welcome to this edition of Tower TV, and we have the brand new released Creighton EXB from Arma, their Extreme Basher, as they call it, EXB. We've got a brand new monster truck ready to go down. A whole bunch of new parts that we're gonna go over. Uh, we're gonna jump right into it. Right off the bat, brand new body. Nothing different about the body. It's just matte gloss on the front, uh, faded to a black, really clean, simple design. Got some protective stickers on the inside, stuff like that. I'm gonna go ahead and set this off to the side so we can get into the guts of this monster truck. So this is a roller. It's not a complete RTR like the 6S Creightons before this one. So you're gonna need electronics after you purchase this. It's just the chassis, but it does come pre-built so you don't have to put it together. Uh, right off the bat, we'll go ahead and talk about the chassis. So the chassis is the same, but it does have this cool etching on the bottom of it. It says, don't just bash, blast, kind of Arma's go-to slogan there. Uh, really cool design on the bottom of it. Uh, it might scrape off eventually, but take some nice pictures of it before you go and run it, and you'll remember it for sure. Second thing that I noticed right off the bat is the aluminum all throughout the truck. So you have red aluminum shock towers with the EXB logo etched in the front. Uh, you have a front and rear aluminum chassis brace with also that EXB uh, laser etched on there. Really cool red so they really pop out when you pop up the chassis uh, right here and here. Other aluminum has a front aluminum slide mount that the pivot for the upper arms slide into and also an aluminum servo mount and servo horn so that's a really cool option it does come with a 25 tooth servo horn but they of course sell different servo horns so you can get a different one in this truck all right so that stuff's not too different from the regular rtr crate and just a couple of aluminum upgrades uh, why should you get this crate i mean it doesn't seem that much different right away so we're going to get into the internals a little bit so first off there's a little bit more steel on this truck. So you've got steel hinge pins throughout the truck. You've got steel turnbuckles front and rear, a little bit stronger than the previous ones. Uh, and then inside the diffs, the gears for the front center and rear diffs are all a new steel. So they're gonna be much stronger. Uh, the front is actually a limb, or the center diff, sorry, is actually a limited slip differential. So instead of cramming a bunch of thick oil in there, you could put a regular amount of oil in there and it's gonna slip a little bit less than the previous one. Let's see, the ring and pinion gears. So the ring gears are actually widened and the pitch angle is actually increased from 5% to 15%. So that's just gonna give you a bit more strength in those ring and pinion gears. They're not gonna strip out like they have in the past. And it's also gonna engage the drive of the truck, which is a lot uh, smoother on the drivetrain, much better. And there's my dog in the corner. So next on my little cheat sheet here, we've got beefier arms. So this plastic has been beefed up and thickened on the arms to make them a little bit stronger. They're not gonna bend as much. Uh, just overall, better driving experience with the truck. But the other thing are the bearings throughout the entire car. They're all rubber shielded. So a much higher quality, better smoothing, rolling bearing. Uh, the receiver box is of course waterproof fit up to a 6S battery inside the battery tray, just like the old Creighton. Uh, it's gonna fit a regular size A-scale motor. It does have the sliding motor mount like the V4 uh, 6S lineup from Arma. Uh, it does have a new rear mount for the pinion that the center rear axle goes to, so that's not gonna be super thread locked in. It's got a new uh, mount that they put in there that's going to hold that pin in a lot better than just the red Loctite. So it's going to be easier to get out, but it's not also going to fall out when you're driving. So that's nice and neat. I believe that's on the front and the rear. Uh, other than that, the truck is similar to the RTR version, but also very different coming with all those included hop-up parts, the new pinion, ring and pinion gears, the new diff gears all throughout the truck. Um, worth it? I'd say yeah. I mean, maybe if you're not just looking to get into monster trucks, but you already have one and you're looking to expand on your monster truck experience, I'd say the EXB is probably the good way to go. I mean, it's much beefier, much heavier. It is a little bit more expensive in the long run, um, 
the RTR Creighton, I believe is 549 with all electronics, and this is 449 with no electronics. Uh, so once you put those electronics in there, it's gonna add up to be a little bit more, but the truck itself is much beefier, much better driving experience. So I think in the long run, it's definitely worth getting the EXB. Um, and if you guys would like to see us deck this thing out with electronics and go bash the heck out of it, let me know. Let me know what you want to see inside the truck, uh, what kind of electronics you would put in yours. And other than that, that's all I have for this edition of Tower TV. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about the Creighton EXP, make sure you click the link below and see you in the next one.